Why do so many businesses fail? Well, believe it or not, but more often than not, it boils down to a single incredibly common mistake. It's a mistake, my friend, that practically all new business owners and new entrepreneurs make. And guess what? It is so simple and easy to avoid. Yet not recognizing this mistake leaves nearly everyone struggling and frustrated and going in circles. So here, let's avoid all of this by getting clear and recognizing the biggest business mistake. What's up my friend, I'm Jeff from 10tononline.com. Now here it's all about escaping the grind, building a fulfilling online business and launching a better tomorrow. If that is what you're into, then you are definitely in the right spot. All right, now you and I, we've got a lot to unpack here, a lot to untangle to help you along because I know that this business stuff is, I mean, there's a lot of moving parts. That's what I'm getting at. There's marketing, there's product development, there's validating your business ideas. I mean like a zillion other moving parts. So to help you along, I've got something special for you. I put together for you a free online business jumpstart guide. This is a downloadable, printable, easy to follow PDF guide. Your free guide gives you a solid foundation and a set of procedural steps to follow as you are developing out. All of the aforementioned things that we just talked about, your business ideas, validating your ideas, getting your marketing and your promotional materials together, and a whole heck of a lot more. Your free guide really helps you to lay things out, get clear, and develop a solid plan for your business, packed with actionable steps and resources to really help you get moving. Go ahead and grab your free guide right now while it is still available over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. Don't miss it. Now, one of the most catastrophic mistakes that a new business owner or someone who is new to business, has business ambitions, one of the most catastrophic mistakes that they can make is this. To dream up all on their own some kind of new, never been done before, revolutionary idea for a business or a product or a service. I call these magical big ideas. So here, and I know that you know that this is very, very common, the new business owner, the person with entrepreneurial ambition sits around and waits for an idea to strike them almost like lightning from the heavens. <laughs> They're constantly asking themselves things like this. They're constantly asking themselves, what's a new totally unique, never been done before idea that would make me a lot of money. But see my friend, let's change our perspective here. Let me say this. The world is full, chock full of problems. I think you would agree with me on that. Everywhere you look, everywhere you turn, people are struggling with frustrating things. They're wrestling with not being able to get a particular result that they want for themselves things are a freaking mess. Now, check this out, my friend. The definition of business, and if you're jotting notes, you might want to jot this down. The definition of business is not come up, dream up some kind of amazing, incredible, never been done before, magical big idea to make millions. No, the definition of business is as follows. The definition of business is solve other people's problems at a profit. Let me repeat that because man, that is so crucial, so freaking fundamental. The definition of business is solve problems for profit. That's it. So man, there's no need to dream up some incredible, amazing, never been done before idea for a product or a service or a business. That is what inventors do. Are you an inventor? Are you creating things out of thin air and hoping that people will actually want them? No, that's not what businesses do. Businesses innovate by solving problems more efficiently for other people. Let me say it to you like this. Your customers, the sorts of people who you wanna serve, your target market, your niche market, whatever the heck you wanna call it, they will not pay you for unique ideas. What they will pay for is solutions to their complex, frustrating, and difficult problems. So there is no need to invent a solution to a problem that nobody has, especially when there are so many other existing problems that people are already wrestling with, that people are already desperate to have solved for them. As a matter of fact, from a certain point of view, you could even say that it's pretty darn arrogant to say, you should want this thing that I made. 
Yet this is the approach that practically all new business owners make. And this is the one key biggest mistake that most new entrepreneurs make. All right, now, if this is you don't feel bad, recognizing this and understanding this is honestly, it's like a rite of passage. Every entrepreneur and new business owner has to go through this learning process. Yet, you wanna know something? Many people who start out in business do not learn this lesson. They keep trying to jam the proverbial square pegs into round holes and eventually they get frustrated. They run out of patience or they run out of enthusiasm or they run out of money and they fail. This my friend is why so many businesses fail and why business is seen as risky. But what you need to do on your end is you need to minimize or even completely eliminate risk. We're gonna dig into exactly how you can do this for yourself in just a moment, but first, if you are serious about really truly building a genuine, honest business for yourself, then here's what to do. Point your browser over to 10tononline.com forward slash free. Now there, you will find a free online business workshop. This is a totally self-paced online workshop. There, you and I are gonna shatter apart the biggest, nastiest myths about how business works, what your customers, your audience, your niche market are really truly asking you for, what they really truly want, what your competition means for you and for your business, not what you think, and why do what you love is a surefire way to fail. You're also gonna get three real world methods for validating your business ideas, and I'll show you how to avoid the number one mistake that most business newbies make. We're gonna lock down for you a clear, actionable step-by-step -step plan to really get you moving forward with your online business. Bring a coffee, bring a notepad. You definitely don't wanna miss it. Next though, as I say, what we need to do for you is we need to minimize or even completely eliminate risk on your end. The truth of the matter is you can't guarantee that your business will be successful, but what you can do is skew the probability of success greatly in your favor. If you wanna skew probability towards failure, then do what every other new business owner does and come up with that magical big idea, but if you wanna skew probability towards success, then here's what to do. The first step, the first step in the process is to figure out let me rewind. The first step in the process is not to come up with that magical big idea. The first step in the process is to actually, as a matter of fact, figure out what sorts of people you want to serve through your business. And this is your first step for a variety of reasons. For instance, what's the point in going to all the work and effort and turmoil and struggle to build a business for yourself if you ultimately wind up despising it? disliking it and not enjoying being around the sorts of people that your business serves. I know so many business owners, so many entrepreneurs who have realized that what they've actually done is created a prison for themselves. We definitely do not want that happening for you. So this is one of the reasons why figuring out who you want to serve is your first step. So what market, what sub market, what audience, what niche market do you want to serve through your online business? And this is really something that only you can figure out. I don't know, maybe it's people who enjoy outdoor adventuring in Alaska. Maybe it's old ladies who share embroidery patterns online. Maybe it's new dads who are struggling with their new work and family life balance. I don't know. Again, you are the only person who can figure this out. So ask yourself, who is it that I want to serve? What sorts of people do I enjoy being around? And who do I want to work with day in and day out for years and years and years? That's the first step, figuring out who do I wanna help? Who do I wanna serve? Here is the second step. Next, the second step is to find out more about them. Specifically, find out what complex, frustrating, difficult, nagging, I think I said frustrating already, problems that they have. And believe me, your audience has a lot of problems. Everyone has lots and lots of problems, right? So find out what sorts of problems and issues they are wrestling with. And it doesn't stop there. That's because not all problems that your designated target market, this niche market that you've identified, not all problems that they have will be profitable for you to solve. So what I'm saying here is there is a bit of a vetting process here. There's a bit of a research phase here. Maybe you simply don't wanna solve 
particular problems that they have. Maybe you simply don't enjoy, like you could solve the problem and you could make a lot of money doing it, but it would drive you to an early grave. It would drive you crazy to spend all day, every day solving this kind of problem. So just because your niche audience has a particular problem that you could solve at a profit doesn't mean that this is a problem that you should build a business around. So as I'm alluding to here, you're going to have to do some research and some head scratching here. You're going to have to figure out if it's worth your effort in time and money to develop a solution to the sorts of problems that you are uncovering for this particular group of people and how much you could sell your solution for. Remember, the definition of business is solve problems for profit. We talked about that earlier. Not solve problems for free or for razor thin margins, but for nice healthy, thick margins. And all of this, everything that we're talking about here has to orbit around things that you enjoy doing, right? That's the crux of the whole shebang. That, my friend, is the key to building an enjoyable, fulfilling online business, working with people you enjoy being around, doing work that fulfills you. That is the trick. It is absolutely possible to figure all this stuff out. It's really not that complex. Most importantly though, that is why so many businesses fail. So next, let's get going. Let's start skewing those probabilities in your favor and we do exactly that in your free online business workshop. Go ahead and grab it over at 10tononline.com forward slash free. I will see you there next.